How do you know when your caps have aged? Well, you start getting little gray hairs, stuff growing out of your ears. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. All right, this question comes from Chris, Chris in Melbourne, Florida. And Chris writes, hi, Paul. In a previous video, you mentioned replacing the capacitors in your IRS 5s as part of putting them into service, citing the need to replace the parts. Ever since I've been watching that video, audio paranoia, <laughs> oh, he's paranoid. Audio paranoia has crept in. Uh, every time I listen, I start wondering if I need to rebuild the crossovers in my 25-year-old Apogee Duetta signatures. Uh, they sound okay, nothing's obviously wrong, but I'm not sure there's anyone left who even works on them, and I don't want to ship these beasts across the country to be worked on. I, I don't blame you. I, I, I don't think I would either. So if there's a question here, I guess it's how can the average listener know, short of gross distortion or dead silence, if I need to recap my crossovers or any of my electronics? Well, I can tell you uh, there's a couple of easy answers to this. First off, yeah, I did. My speakers, the Infinity IRS-5s, are 30 years old. And just like any 30-year-old capacitor, it's, it's not going to be doing what it did when it was brand new. Capacitors age, especially electrolytics. And 25 years ago, 25 years ago, Speaker designers used quite a number of electrolytics. Now, these, these were bipolar electrolytics. They, um, it's basically two back-to-back -back electrolytics in one can. So they, they, they don't have a plus and a minus. You know, they're, they're, they were used for AC signals. And those just dry out over time. They just do. Film caps, on the other hand, you, you get good life out of those. They, they pretty much are probably okay. I don't know. Just look, as a general rule of thumb, I would replace the capacitors in my 25 year old speakers without even questioning it. Just do it. And, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how in a sec. The, the other thing you can do, which is basically what a lot of people do, is take your iPhone or your Android and go Go look on the store. You'll find an app that measures sound, and you want it in, in a graph, like a spectrum analyzer. I think they're like a dollar. You, just, just Google it. You'll find it. It's easy. And they provide a little bit of a, um, a source, like a pink noise source, that you then plug into your phone and then plug into your system and play. And then you point your phone at the speakers. Now, if you want to be really official, take your speaker outside and do it so you don't have all the room interference but you know that affects mostly just bass and, and you're not interested in bass right you're interested in a thousand cycles on up and what you want to see is kind of a flat and that's not going to be it's going to be bumpy but you, you just don't want to see this trend where it's lopping off so there's no 10 kilohertz or there's no eight you know and above frequencies that's what you don't want so if you have to measure it it's an easy way to do it with your phone. Just look from a thousand cycles up. Ignore all the big ripples of bass because you're going to find it unless you're outside. In any case, uh, measure it or just trust me and replace the cap. So how do you do that? Because you don't want to send these to somebody else and maybe you don't know how to solder uh, or you're a little nervous. First off, take the speaker apart. The crossover should be easy to get to. And look at the capacitors. They have the, the value, you don't need a schematic, they have the values written right on them. The coils inside, the resistors inside, they're never gonna go bad. Don't worry about it. The capacitors are what you wanna worry about. Go and, and look at the markings on the side of a capacitor and you'll see what it is. Then go to Parts Connection or Parts Express, one of those two websites. They have everything you can imagine. Brand. I mean, it matters to me, I, and I buy the higher Mundorfs or but just buy a good brand of cap, which is mostly what they have. Don't worry about duplicating what, what Jason Bloom had designed in there because you may not be able to find it, but get a great, spend a few bucks. I mean, you, you know, spend a hundred bucks on caps, not going to be that much. If you don't know how to solder, you find somebody that does. It's, it's just not that hard. These caps have two legs on them. 
You go down to Amazon for $28. I, I bought my grandson, Henry, a beautiful temperature-controlled soldering station. And, and he's, he's seven years old, and he's learning how to solder, okay? So you should be able to do it. <laughs> but if you can't, find somebody that can. And just... And pop them in. It's, it's not that hard. You certainly don't need to send them across the country. So I, I hope that helps. Good luck. Those are great speakers. Hard to drive. So if you have an amplifier that does that, good job. All right. Good luck with your speakers. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.